Do you have what it takes to defeat Mark the Beast LaBeouf and his fellow trivia geniuses? Find out tonight on Maximize. And here's your host, <laughs> A game of trivia, smarts, and strategy. Let's, Let's meet, meet our challengers. challengers. This pediatrician designs crossword puzzles in his spare time. Please give it up for Peter. She's a care coordinator who really loves to do cosplay. Give it up for Holly. It's Holly, everybody. Yeah. He's a Pokemon lover that graduated magna cum laude and once jumped mm, out of the big brain. Oh my goodness, from Eugene, Oregon. Put your hands together for Shane. Yes. Scott, Magnus and Welcome to the show, everyone. Are you ready to meet the masterminds? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's a chess expert who represents the USA in international chess competitions, and he's a trivia champion to boot. It's Jonathan Corblas. Mr. Jonathan, everybody. She's got degrees in anthropology and American civilization from Brown University, and she's a world-class trivia master. It's Muffy Morocco. Miss Muffy. You know him as one of the world's most formidable trivia masters. From The Chase, it's Mark the Beast LaVette. From The Chase, Mark the Beast LaVette. Hello, masterminds. How are we feeling? Are we ready to play? I am so ready to play. They look lovely. I hate to crush your hopes and dreams. Thank you you too? I know Beastie likes to do that. I think it's rubbing off on me. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I'm going to borrow the words of a famous English cricket captain when he was facing a rookie on debut. Good luck. But not too much. <laughs> Here's how we play. I'll ask you a series of trivia questions over three rounds of escalating difficulty. At the end of the game, the highest scoring challenger will face the highest scoring mastermind in the ultimate trivia showdown for $10,000. <laughs> Varicella is a chicken box. Thank you for that. The next subject is structures. What tallest building in the world allows visitors the opportunity to watch the sun set twice in a day? One World Trade Center, Shanghai Tower, or Burj Khalifa? The correct answer is Burj Khalifa. Challengers? All right, well done. 100 points across the board. Master Eyes? For you as well. Sunsets, does that mean you can do two sunrises as well? Presumably, I, I, from what I gather is you watch it the ground floor, get on the super fast lift, and then watch it the top, so that's wow. how he gets it to work. The next subject is country stars. Moving 20 million units, whose Come On Over is the biggest selling album by any solo woman? Taylor Swift, Reba McIntyre, or Shania Twain? And the correct answer is... Shania Twain, any country listeners over here? All right, 100 points across the board. How about you, Masterminds? 100 points for you as well. Shania Twain was, like Taylor Swift, one of those sort of crossover pop country artists that really appealed to a lot of people. A wonderful philosopher. That don't impress me much. <laughs> I'm impressed. Beastie, well done with your Shania knowledge. Thank you, Masterminds. The next subject is business. What company behind the Cross Your Heart bra also made Neil Armstrong's spacesuit for the Apollo 11 mission? Playtex, Maidenform, or Fruit of the Loom? And the correct answer is... Playtex. Challengers, how do we do? I love this. You're just pumping over there. Uh, Peter, well done. 100 points for you and Holly. Masterminds. 100 points across the board. 
The next subject is holidays. During the festival of Takanakui, Peruvian villagers celebrate the settling of grudges through what means? Foot races, eating contests, or fist fights. And the correct answer is fist fights. Challengers? Did we know this? Okay, Peter. At least you got 100 points for it. Looks like a little bit of a guess, maybe. Mastermind? Muffy, well done for 100 points. So I think this is especially centered in the city of Cusco. It's, there's certain rules about whom you can punch, just like there are certain rules here about whom I can punch. Apparently it's frowned upon. <laughs> I know, I saw, and here we're still teaching use your words, it's not okay to hit. Right? That's right. Masterminds, we don't use our fists, we use our brains. <laughs> Good job, Muffy. The next subject is education. education. Wellesley, Bryn Mawr, Smith, Barnard, and which of these other original Seven Sisters colleges still admit women only? Vassar, Mount Polio, or Radcliffe? Walking, walking your answers. And the correct answer is Mount Holyoke. How do we do, challengers? All, All right, right. gentlemen, Peter and Sheen, 100 points apiece. Masterminds? Muffy, well done. So Vassar went co-ed, Radcliffe was the sister college to Harvard and just sort of got subsumed into Harvard itself. And I see. Not Holyoke is actually quite near Smith, and there's still women only. Do you know all the sister colleges? Bryn Mawr, because that's across the street from where I went to school. <laughs> uh, Wellesley, Smith, Mount Holyoke, Barnard, Radcliffe, and Vassar. I think we're all set. Well done. Educated lady knows ladies' education. Thank you, Muffy. Thank you, Muffy. The last subject is science. science. The term light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation refers to the technology used in which device? Film projector, laser, or headlight? What can you answer? And the correct answer is laser. Challengers, come on! There we there go. We go. That's what I like to see, 100 points across the board. And I'd like to take note, Peter, you have a perfect score. Masterize, how'd you do? 100 points across the board over here. Well done. Uh, in cinema, the Bond film, uh, Goldfinger, used a laser six months before they actually discovered. Six months before? Oh, really? Yeah, so they just wanted some sort of death ray, and oh. by the time it came out, oh, that's a laser. It's actually real. Fascinating. All right. Thank you, VC. That's it for round one. As I said, Peter's in the lead with 700 points. Muffy for our mastermind with 700 points. When we return, the points get higher and the questions get more difficult. As we get closer to determining who will play for $10,000, it's more mastermind after this. were the name coming. I believe it's the place the conclave of cardinals go to elect the Pope, so they're sealed in there. Thank you. The next subject is world history. 
history. World history. The Treaty of Cordoba established which country's independence from Spain? Lock in your answers. <laughs> Not again! Skip the song! Lock in your answers. And the correct answer is... Mexico! Challenger, so if you know this. Alright, the challenge is 200 points for Peter, 200 points for Shane, well done. Maximize. Alright, Buffy and Reese take 200 points apiece. So Mexican independence is 1820s-ish. Mexican Independence Day is actually not Cinco de Mayo. It's actually that celebrates a different battle much later on. It's actually sometime in September. Oh, very interesting. But it's an excuse for Margarita nonetheless, Brooke, so you're covered. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our historian. Thank you, Buffy. The next subject is weightlifting. Weightlifting. Named for the iconic bodybuilder, the Arnold Press works out all three heads of what shoulder muscle? Locking your answers. And correct answer is deltoids. Challengers, how we do? All, all right. right. Wow, Peter, you're killing it over here. Two hundred points for you. Maximize. For the gentlemen, Beastie and Jonathan, 200 points apiece. So you notice the question said three heads because the deltoid is kind of like a triangle shape, and the reason it's called the deltoid is because it resembles the Greek letter delta. All right, thank you. It's time for the final question of this round. This question is worth 400 points. This will determine who will be moving on to the next round. Here is your final subject. The subject is communications. Communications. What author of A Passage to India stopped writing novels and became a broadcaster on BBC Radio? Locking your answers. And the correct answer is... E.M. E. M. Forster. Forster. How do we do on this one, challengers? Oh, uh -oh. no points on that one, which means that Peter and Sheen will be moving on to the next round because of your scores. Holly, thank you so much for being here. Masterminds, how about you guys? There oh, we go. Well done. 400 points across the board. Well, that means that Beastie and Buffy will be moving on to the next round, even though it was very close. We'll see you next time, Jonathan. When we come back, it's Challenger versus Challenger and Mastermind versus Mastermind to determine who will compete in the Ultimate Trivia Showdown for $10,000. More Masterminds after this. I'm Brooke Burns here with my old friend, Mark Levesque. He'll be joining us for Masterminds. Mark will be a model of and good sportsmanship. No, I'm right. I'm still the base. That's a okay. Masterminds. Only weeknights at 6 on Game Show Network. <laughs> Welcome back to Masterminds. It all comes down to this. Which challenger will face the top mastermind for $10,000? We're about to find out. But first, let's get to know them better. Peter, tell us about your crossword puzzle design experience. I've been designing puzzles for about 20 years. It's definitely a hobby, not a profession. <laughs> and I've had maybe a couple dozen published over the years. Keep a lookout for two that will be in the New York Times. Should be this year. Wow, what an accomplishment. That's Thank awesome. You. Welcome to your show, sir. Thank you. Shane, you jumped out of a moving train. I did. Why, sir? I'm a bit of an amateur photographer, so I was okay. taking some photos on some train tracks mm -hmm. when one of the trains started moving, and I saw it as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to jump on a moving train. <laughs> then, of course, I had to jump off the train with my camera going 30 miles an hour, so that was a bit intense. Wow. Are you okay? You know, physically, <laughs> but, like, emotionally, there's still some, <laughs> something going on. How are the photos, more importantly? <laughs> well, I didn't get any aerial shots that would have been really cool. So Not like mid-air yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Good luck to you both, gentlemen. In this round, first the challengers and then the masterminds will face off in a timed trivia battle. The first question will be worth 500 points, and each question that follows will be worth an additional 100 points. It's anyone's game. Challengers, are you ready? We are ready. Let's do it. 60 seconds on the clock. Your time will begin when I finish reading the first question. Good luck. 500 points. The 20th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution set what date for the beginning of the president's term in office? Peter. January 4th. No, Shane. No. January 7th. No. no. January 20th. 600 points. In carpentry, what common unit of measurement for a nail's size shares its name with a type of coin? Peter. Peter. Penny weight. Correct. Right. 700 points. Minoans pioneered what stone structures for channeling fresh water to their settlements? Peter. 
back with us. Correct. 800 right. points. The most populous country in the world, what nation took Taiwan's place in the UN in 1971? Peter. China. Correct. Right. 900 points. In 1957, Helena Rubinstein introduced what type of makeup in the modern tube and wand applicator? Peter. Eyeshadow? No. She. No. Time. Mascara. 1,000 points. Douglas MacArthur and Buzz Aldrin are graduates of what <laughs> institution? <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> Two of their world-famous graduates. You know, they're nervous, Beastie. It's like all the time that they're here with the lights and the time. Oh, it's a but it's just a question of who does the damage. You know how this works? Same rules apply. 60 seconds on the clock. 60 Not seconds on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> your, your time begins when I finish reading the first question. 500 points. Rediscovered in 2001, Heliki was believed to have been destroyed by Poseidon and inspired the myth of what lost city? Buffy. Atlantis. Correct. 600 points. Making those Louis Vuitton shoes more appealing, the gene to perceive the color red is on which chromosome? Buffy. X. Correct. Right. 700 points. A shoat is the weaned offspring of what domesticated animal? Buffy. A pig. Yes. 800 points. What region of Italy lends its name to a gentle slope leading from the base of a mountain to flat land? East. Calabria? No. Muffy. Muffy. Montana. Piedmont. 900 points. Considered a monster of pie cake, the chair pumple is made from cherry pie, pumpkin pie, and what other pie? East. It's called the apple pie. <laughs> Correct. 1,000 points. Said to have zero mass. What particle makes up all electromagnetic energy? Muffy. Muffy. Electron? No. Beastie. No. Higgs boson? Photon. 1,100 points. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution bans the quartering of soldiers during peacetime? Muffy. The third. Muffy. Correct. 1,200 points. Perhaps the nation's oldest. What think tank was founded in 1916 as the Institute for Government Research? Based? Lincoln Institute? No. Brookings <laughs> Institution. Congratulations, Muffy. You are tonight's top mastermind. Beastie, we'll see you next time. Sorry, Beast. That means that Peter and Muffy will be going head-to-head -head in our ultimate trivia showdown. Can Peter win $10,000 to take one step closer to becoming a mastermind? What did I just say? I said skip the song. Come up in January. It's Switch. The ultimate switch, 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 I'm getting chills thinking about it now. It's nice to be on something that literally my 13-year-old can watch and my 96-year-old neighbor. I'm having fun. Exactly. That's what we're here for. Have fun. My experience on this show has been joy. And I want people to feel that. I want them to participate in that. And, and I hope that they feel the way that I felt doing it. Switch. We is coming up next after Masterminds. 30th. Only on Game Show Network. Da, 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 da. To masterminds, Peter has won a thousand dollars and will now face Muffy Morocco in the ultimate trivia showdown for ten thousand dollars. Here's how we play. I'll read four questions to Peter and Muffy, and they will each write down their answers. Once the players have locked in their responses, I'll reveal the correct answers. If Peter gets the highest score, then he will win ten thousand dollars. <laughs> It's now time to find out if Peter will win ten thousand dollars. Let's begin. Let's dim the lights. Here's your first question. What Peanuts character spends much of his time playing a toy piano? Locking your answers. Peter, what did you say? Schroeder. Schroeder. Muffy, how about you? Schroeder. Schroeder as well. The correct answer is... One. And here's your second question. When Steven Spielberg re-enrolled to get his degree, he was given three credits in what subject for his work on Jurassic Park? P. 
Peter, you said? Archaeology. Archaeology. Muffy? Film production. Film production? I like that answer, though. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is... Paleontology. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to get one ahead there. All right, score remains one to one. Even Muffy liked it. <laughs> Here's your third question. The primary airport serving the country of Monaco is located in which French city? Peter? I said Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Muffy? Marseille. Marseille. The correct answer is... Nice. Oh. You guys gotta get to France more often, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and the score remains one to one. All right, since this is the final question, if you get this one right, Peter, and Muffy doesn't, the $10,000 is still yours. Keep the hope. Here is your final question. On five of the 12 levels of the Beaufort scale, what wind is described as light, gentle, moderate, fresh, and strong? Peter, your answer is? I said Gale. Gale. Muffy. Breeze. Breeze. If Gale is right, Peter, you win $10,000. The correct answer is? The answer is? Sorry, Peter.